Alright, let's see what fresh crop of shit you have for me this week. And by shit, I mean sins. As always, feel free to leave your sins and Yu-Gi-Oh! confessions down in the comments section, but I don't really check those as much. I will check those first, again, because I do see those, right? Uh, I do see the YouTube comments and stuff, but I want all of the Yu-Gi-Oh! confessions left in the Discord server because I want all my reactions to be genuine. I stay out of that channel on my Discord server. I hang out in general and stuff, but I do not go into that confessions channel. I want all my reactions to be genuine. So we're going to be getting into that in a second. I'm going to be going over the uh, YouTube comments first, showing off, you know, some stuff I have. I've seen some others that I haven't seen, uh, but uh, first I'm mentally preparing myself. Uh, just like I explained last time, I might have to power up, break out the full garb, you know, for the more egregious sins, possibly. I don't know, but <laughs> once again, I haven't read any of these, so I'm preparing. We're, we're, it's about to go down. Uh, let's just start with this one. Uh, this is a guy who posted the. Uh, oh man, this one was rough too. This guy laminated his cards with packing tape. Genius kid idea, not good for the resale value of your Yugi Man cards. <laughs> I guess since my first sin was so popular, I'll put in my brother's sin. Back when we were little and stupid, he decided it would be a great idea to laminate some of his and my cards. And when we would get our first ever Yu-Gi-Oh cards, he tried to cut the brown border of the card to make it more show accurate. <sighs> Bonus sin, and this one still haunts me. I was showing my younger brother, different one, my ghost rare Stardust Dragon, and he bent it in half. You know how much Ghost Stardust is worth? I don't know how much it's worth, worth right now, but the point is that thing is always worth money, even to this day. Don't do that. Do not bend Ghost Rare cards, <laughs> especially the really good ones. Just just don't do it, okay? That, that is a sin. Uh, you should you have busted him in the back of the head or something. I once met a guy who didn't have the cards for a train deck. So he printed out black and white pictures of the cards and taped them to pieces of cardboard. Okay, 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 okay. That's not a sin. The cardboard, putting the cardboard in, wait, did, did he just, did he put the cardboard in sleeves or did he just tape it to cardboard and he played that? That's a little weird, but the first part, printing off cards as proxies, I've done that before. You just put in a card just in the back, just so you have like a card in the sleeve, like a real card in the sleeve, a card you don't care about, like yours is just one sitting around compulse. But anyways, put that in there, then your printed piece of paper of your desired card, and you get a proxy. There's nothing wrong with that, there's no sin there. Uh, now if it was just a cardboard, and taping it to card... Yeah, that's just... D don't do that, it's a bad idea. <laughs> Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, for I have sinned! I cheat in my friend's progression series. And we'll redo pack openings if I don't like the cards that I get. I'm kicking his ass. <laughs> oh no! That, oh, that that is that is terrible. That's that's really really bad. All right, well, that, that's, that's rough, dude. Like, <laughs> you're not a very good friend. <laughs> like, God dang. Oh, I'm gonna finish the YouTube ones on this one. The YouTube ones, I don't feel like scrolling through all of them. Plus, like I've seen them. Like I said, I want my uh, more genuine reactions. Although the ones I've read, I hadn't seen yet, except for maybe one of them. Like, but I didn't read the whole thing. But another confession for you. This one I have seen. Uh, another confession for you. In 2016, I stayed up until like 4 a.m. theory crafting about tombs <laughs> with some weirdo named Yugi No No. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> um, I've tried to break tombs several times in my early Yu Gi Oh career. I quickly gave up, even after all the tune support, you know, Tune Kingdom. It's just. You want tunes to be good. You know, Maximilian Pegasus, Yugi Boy. You want, uh, you want uh, tunes to be good, but they're just—they're never going to be good. You want them to be good because Pegasus was awesome, Duelist Kingdom was awesome in the show. Tunes are one of the coolest decks of all time. I get it. They're never going to be good. Speaking from experience, Dustin learned that lesson with me the hard way. Now let's get into the Discord. <laughs> let's get into the Discord stuff. I've been waiting for this. Uh, it's been actually killing me to see uh, what's in here. Uh, give me just one minute. I have to find uh, where we left off in the uh, last video. The last video uh, was pretty lengthy. I don't think I'm going to make this one as lengthy, but we'll see where this goes. Yugi Noto and everyone else in parentheses, please forgive me for this past act of stupidity. I once activated Dark Bribe in response to a mystical space typhoon. Yu-Gi-Oh players will already see the issue. <laughs> if you guys don't know, Dark Bribe, uh, you negate a spell or a trap, but your opponent draws a card. So if you MST it, it... 
Anyways, even my opponent tried to stop me, but I persisted. I promptly, I promptly got my ass kicked 0-2 in the match. Uh, no, this was about 9 or 10 years ago. Well I, well, I hope so. Yeah, um, do not negate MST with Dark Bribe. Just don't do it. It's not, a, it's, yeah, it's the, that's a rookie mistake to say the least. I got mad at my brother one time, and to rip up his original very first starter deck Dark Magician, this was when I was like 13. Ah, you're forgiven because you were young, but that is brutal, man. That's like, it's the Dark Magician. That's the Dark Magician. Don't do that. Just done. This is probably his first one, too. That's, that was mean. Ugh. If you were older, man, I might have had to power up for that one. That's bad. That is bad. Forgive me, for I prioritize every other deck before building Cyber Dragons. You prioritize every other deck before building. I even removed the hand traps from the Cyber Dragon deck just to add it to Red Eyes or what, when it was the best deck, Dragon Link. Now my Cyber Dragon deck is no more than a show of what it wants. Do you want to break my heart? Is that what you want to do? Because you did it. <laughs> this one's bad. Oh, this one's bad. Oh, this can't be true. Oh, this cannot be true. Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, for I have sinned. When I was a freshman in high school, I caught my friend cheating on his girlfriend. So instead of staying out of that business, so I blackmailed him into giving me both his Ghost Rare Stardust Dragon and Blackwing Dragon. Ah, maybe, maybe Ghost Stardust is a is a point of contention among Yu-Gi-Oh players. I, I didn't I didn't know this until today. <laughs> Forgive me, Yu-Gi-Oh, for I wish to play Dragoonity instead of Cyber Dragons. You guys are just trying to ag me on today. You're trying to trying to break out the garb today. <sighs> It's gonna take a lot more than Cyber Dragon comments, okay? Okay? You can't hurt me. Cyber Dragon is the best deck of all time, and I know it, alright? Tell Triff I said hi. Actually, I'll just tell him myself I talked to him. <laughs> Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned! I have played this game since 2002, and I have never played a 40 card deck? Here, I'm on the other end where I will play 40 strictly. And if there's, if I can fit upstarts in there, I will play upstarts. Like if I, if I can, if I'm just like, there's absolutely no more cards that need to go in here. I'm like, the first card I think of is Upstart Goblin because they're nine card deck, <laughs> you know? I even used that joke in last video, last uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Sins video. I would usually drop a 90 plus card on Sleep Deck. <laughs> limit my deck for consistency, I can only get to about 43 cards. That is, that is dedication. That is dedication. And this one comes in handy at this specific, I, this one won me a, a game like 10 years ago. I can't cut that card. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, before, I think I can't cut anything because they are too important, usually more in the 45, 50 card range. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that, that, that happens. That happens. It's actually hard to cut cards in a GOAT format. Um, so, uh, something that I've done before is cut Heavy Storm. It, like, I don't have a cut anymore, but like, for a while there, that was a popular thing to make room for another card, because nobody sets two cards in Goat anyways, unless one's like a Jar of Greed or something, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's all chainable cards. So people were being cheeky for a little bit, and at least me and Sam were cutting Heavy Storm because nobody set two, so you could, you know, uh, you know, pro set Heavy on them anyways, and stuff like that. Uh, you know, and uh, it's, it's, it's a thing, you know? It's, it, there's, there's some cards that are considered beyond staple that you can't cut, but don't be afraid to cut them though, or like even if it's in your own head, like where you're like, man, I've played this card for years, I'm like betraying this card if I don't play it. It's just a card, you know, like I'm attached to my cards too, but it's just a card, dude. Just cut it, cut it, you're forgiven, okay? Forgive me, Father, for I have truly sinned. He said he truly sinned. I went 6-0 with Mystic Mind at my locals this past Wednesday. <laughs> That's not necessarily a sin, noteworthy. This is the same life. Uh, locals that Jeff Leonard and his son go to. Jeff, are we talking about Mystic Mind Jeff? Like that Jeff? From, like, I, I really don't keep up with Yu-Gi-Oh names. I like, I, I know the Yu-Gi Tubers, and I know who Billy Break is. I know who Hoban is. After that, I'm freaking lost. <laughs> like, I'm freaking lost. Like, if I haven't met him, 
I don't know who they are. But that is not necessarily a sin. Uh, playing Mystic Mind, uh, I mean, it, it is, but like, it's not, it's not the most, it's not the most degenerate deck of all time, okay? That goes to either Clear Trickstar, <laughs> maybe True Draco. <laughs> now people, I'm making everybody mad. <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> oh God, this one's from Cheddar Bob. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. At King Nutting. <laughs> That's our username, King Nutting. And I did a drunk goat format stream on Zodiac, and I got too drunk to finish the second match. <laughs> Don't drink so much, man. <laughs> you want to develop a problem? I'm just kidding. What is with Stardust Dragon? Okay, I'm going to read this, but what is with Stardust Dragon today? I don't, I don't get this. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. When I was a kid, I had one of those dual discs from Battle City, which is badass. I've never, I still don't have a dual disc. I would love one. And I played with my friends with it, and one card I used on was the secret rare Stardust from the tin. I can no longer read its name. Whew, that's not a sin, that's actually really cool. You're, you're a fucking OG, dude. That is so awesome. I never had a dual disc, like I said. I would love the one from Waking the Dragons, you know, like the bad guys ones. Uh, you know, the Ori Kalkos team, <laughs> you know, I would love one of those. Those, those were really cool. But I uh, never had one, I never had a dual disc, you know? Um, I, I'm actually jealous that you have that memory, and that's, you know, it's, that's not a sin, because you still have the Stardust Dragon. That's badass, that is badass. I wish I still had my cards when I was a kid. Fun fact, I don't have any card from when I was a kid. I don't, it's a long story. I obviously gained a collection again later in life, of course, <laughs> a pretty sizable one. But my original deck, my original cards, I wish I had him. I was a stupid kid and I wish I had him. Forgive me for I have sinned early when this game was first released. I love my cards so much. I literally fell asleep with them when I was a kid. Bit a lot of high rarity cards. Oh, I cared not just cried to my parents to buy me more packs though. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's okay, that's funny. That's mis that's mistyped. But you get it. You used to fall asleep with his cards in his pocket and Da, ah, that's I mean that's that's cool that you loved your cards so much, but don't do that. <laughs> Forgive me, for I have sinned. I trolled Farfa for a whole year by making furry deck memes. <laughs> and saying obedience scold bricks at three. <laughs> I honestly may have paid him fifty dollars to to put in put on a fur suit. I have not seen that. I haven't talked to that guy. I think I've talked to him like once or twice in my whole life. But wow, that's a... Uh... Good trolling? I don't... <laughs> what, do you, what do you say to that? What do you even say to that? Why did you do that? <laughs> you're, you're, for, you're forgiven, of course, but barely. <laughs> oh my gosh, and I'm scrolling down. I'm scrolling past all the Silent Magician stuff, okay? I'm sorry. Silent Magician's hot, too. I'm sorry for defending the OG Darth Magician. I am so sorry. I've been scrolling past. I've been like scrolling down for a while. Like, okay, we covered this last episode. Y'all are still talking about it. There's, there's still people talking about it. It's fine. It's just, it, 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 duh. <laughs> but yeah, then the right here, Silent Magician isn't a sin. It's facts. I, I get it, I get it, okay? Dark Magician Girl though, the original, all right? Have some respect, come on. <laughs> Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, for I have sinned. When I was much younger, I stole someone's jump blue eyes ultimate dragon. He blamed someone else, eventually quit the game, and I still have the card. That is a sin. Go do some Hail Marys, uh, maybe run a lap, because you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player, could probably use to run. <laughs> use a lap. <laughs> Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. I played counter fairies at a world championship celebration event and made every opponent concede by looping them till they gave up while playing every turn Mr. Bones Wild Ride of <laughs> Wild Ride ends when you want it to. <laughs> what? Well, I don't know that clip, but that's hilarious. I mean I could have done worse. The things I've done with Infernoid Lair, I will save for another confession. <laughs> Sounds good, bud. Sounds good. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. I'm tired of the lack of gore and grossness that the older cards have when it came to monsters, and I hate the fact that dragons have so much support. Well, that's not necessarily a sin knowing that the old card art's better, okay? That's, that, you're, you're forgiven. Now, if you're just obsessed with slime and worms and... Now, that you might need to go to an actual church for... <laughs> but, the, but the rest is 
fine. This is fine. <laughs> My Yu-Gi-Oh sin is not spending much on Yu-Gi-Oh lately as I once did. That's not a sin. That's called living your life, son. <laughs> you know. Uh, I'm sorry, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. I had a duel against a beginner who only summoned one 1700 attack monster in attack position and set one back row. Whoo! Whoo! This could be brutal. It's gonna be brutal. I was playing Crusadia. I banished this trap of cosmic cyclones and I activated interrupting kaiju slumber. And then proceeded to do what Crusadia do and <laughs> attack the poor guy with a total of 14,800 damage. And the worst part is that he told me he was a beginner and I responded with no worries, let's just have some fun. Even though I knew I was the only one having fun after he did <laughs> what he did during his turn. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit of a sin. You could have went a little easier, you know, just a little bit. But at the same time, He's gotta learn. He's gotta learn, you know? Uh, maybe you'll get better. Maybe you'll get better after having his ass whooped. Yuki Jesus, cleanse me of the sin I've committed! So, back when I was a young lad, I pulled a blue eyes out of L.O.B. Hopefully first dead, because that would be extra dope. I went to school the next day to play uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! with all the other kids, and was offered a trade for the blue eyes. The card offered to me was Guardian of the Throne Room. Which to me looked, so, which to me looked cool, so I accepted the trade. So I lost in value, but I did win lots of duels off the Guardian. <laughs> well, yeah, but like, L.O.B. Blue Eyes, dude. I wish I had a first dead L.O.B. Blue Eyes. You didn't say if it was first or not, but first, L.O.B. Blue Eyes is my favorite art for Blue Eyes. It's badass, the same art that's on the DDS Blue Eyes. It'd be even more cool to have the DDS Blue Eyes, right? Right? <laughs> Anyways, though. For Yugi Jesus, forgive me for I've sinned. I made double infinity on my first t not knowing when you can only over overlay infinity on top of Nova. Yeah, that's right. You can only summon infinity using Nova one time. You can you can hard summon a second one. Sure, 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 sure. You know, using you know what what two or three level six monsters or whatever it is that, that nobody does. Everyone just puts it on infinity on, on Nova. Sorry, yeah. Everyone just puts infinity on Nova. Uh, yeah, you can't do that. Don't do that no more. Go do a Hail Mary. <laughs> I'm just gonna scroll up and add this one. This, I can't find a really strong one to end on. Um, we might end on this one. I might find another one. Hold on. Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, for I have sinned. I have a larvae moth that I was going to send to you and haven't yet. May make it the only larvae moth you don't own. What a dick. <laughs> like, for real, though. Um, I use a uh, larvae moth, um... I, I don't use Larry Moth, I collect them, all of them, I keep them. Now, the Cyber Dragons I get, I actually sign them and send them to people whenever they ask, or message me, or write to me. It's usually what happens, but the uh, Larvae Moth, as I've already explained, I don't share them. No, no, they are mine. Just going back up, I guess we'll just use this one as the last one. I, I, I'm still cracking up, and everybody's still debating Silent Magician. <laughs> I'm sorry, man, just... Defending Dark Magician Girl, okay? That's like trying to say that Tour Guide isn't hot. I'm gonna have to be like, Tour Guide's hot as hell. And I think I might get Farfa involved on that one. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't he have like a big one, like a giant card on his wall or whatever of, uh, of Tour Guide? I one time forgot I was dueling on Dueling Book. This is what, this is what we're gonna end on. I one time forgot I was dueling on Dueling Book, which already takes fucking forever, okay? And literally had an entire meal after using the bathroom. And when I realized I was dueling, it was already too late and my opponent quit. <laughs> he said unrated. Okay, okay, never mind. That didn't make it as bad. But yeah, uh, that is a sin because dueling book, I, that's why I use EDO Pro. It sucks when you misclick on EDO Pro. I know, I know, it freaking sucks. But you don't have to spend three days dueling just one duel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with the uh, EDO Pro. Uh, but uh, I think that's gonna end this video, guys. Uh, I didn't have to break out the garb. I didn't even finish my drink. Come on, where's the egregious sins? Where's the brutal ones? Uh, man, don't be afraid to share. Once again, guys, no judgment at all. I just want to get a good laugh, spread some joy in the Yu-Gi-Oh community. Um, if you guys want to leave me your Yu-Gi-Oh sins, uh, feel free to leave, leave them in the Confessions channel on my Discord server or down in the comments below. I'm not going to be going over the YouTube ones, though, because, uh, once again, like I explained in the beginning of the video and the other videos, I like to give my genuine reactions. I like to see things I haven't seen before. The YouTube comments, you know, I'll open YouTube and kind of see them here and there. So some of them I've, see, I've seen, some of them I haven't seen. Um, once again, I stay completely out of the Confessions channel on my Discord, so completely genuine reactions. Leave them in there. And until next time, guys, dick slap the like button. That was bad. There we go. That was bad. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. There we go. <laughs> dick slap the like button. Subscribe. <laughs>